So now let's try to take that form data that we were just uh, collecting uh, and just writing out in a formatted string and try to put it into a database. So I've gotten into MySQL here uh, and I have, uh, I'm creating a table right now um, for our class. Let's make sure that we put our Hawk ID uh, in front of our table name. So this would be mine. Um, and then this is just some sample uh, MySQL. Uh, we're using MySQL 5.7. Uh, so just some sample um, how to create a table. Uh, so I'm creating a friend ID. It's an integer. It cannot be null. Uh, and we are going to auto increment that integer. It'll be our primary key as indicated right here. And we're collecting first name and we're collecting last name. And those are just bar cars. Uh, so I'm just making space for them. And at this point, I'll come up, I'll click into my SQL. Uh, if I click this, it just executes a statement that's under the cursor, so it'll just run this. Uh, but if I were to do this, if I this particular uh, lightning bolt, if there were a series of statements here, it would run them all. Uh, so I'm going to just run that one. And I have a problem. Okay. Uh, so I had to select the database I wanted to use. So this is our database for this fall. Uh, and then this would be a table inside of that database. So let's try this. So now I'm going to use the other lightning bolt, run both of them at once. And it's still complaining. Oh, because it already exists. Okay, let's try one more time. So if the table exists, let's drop the table. So let's run all of these again. There we go. Now I've got a table created. Now if I come over here, and I refresh the tables, I should be able to see my new table in there. And it's got the two fields. All right, I'm going to stick just a little bit of data in there. So I'll be my own friend here. So into the first name field and the last name field, pass the value, Mike and Colbert. I want to run just this particular um, SQL statement. I don't want to run these others, so I'll click on to that SQL statement. So the cursor is there. And then I'll come use this one, this lightning bolt. Okay, so let me see if anything is in there. Very good, there's data in there. So that's the first step.